Namaste ladies and gentlemen and this is a world exclusive. We have kept you at the forefront of our coverage with all that is happening in Afghanistan even during the tumultuous takeover, the forcible takeover of the Taliban but we also even now when Afghanistan and India want to resume people to people connect. When the national security advisor of our country Sri Ajit Doval has come out and said that we have a civilizational connect and we will always as a nation stand up with the people of Afghanistan. The kind of help that we have extended to the people, humanitarian aid assistance, be it food grains, be it vaccines for COVID-19, for polio or even basic help that is required for the common people of Afghanistan, India has stepped up. Today, we bring you a world exclusive. This man has never spoken to a TV channel before. It's his first television interview. He's one of the most powerful men in the current Taliban disposition and the current Taliban government in the Islamic Emirate of Afghanistan. He's also the son of Mullah Omar. This is Mullah Yaqub, the Afghanistan Defense Minister, who is speaking with us. Namaste and thank you for speaking with us here at CNN News 18. This is the first television interview that you are giving to any channel across the world. Mr. Mullah Yaqub, you are the son of Mullah Omar. Let's start with, when did you last see, speak with your father? What are your memories about him? Our late father, Amirul Momin, Mullah Muhammad Omar Mujahid, is remembered by me and many more friends as a caring father. I must tell you that when the Indian flight was hijacked during our past government and was taken to Emirate, Pakistan and other places did not allow it to stay in the area. Our beloved and late father, considering the humanity and desirous of relations with India, allowed the plane to land here and oversaw the safe return of all persons whom we saved from death. So on this basis, I warned that India should have cordial relations with us. People of India should know that the Islamic Emirate is an independent country and any actions on behalf of Islamic Emirate are farce and not true. Islamic Emirate is ready to form relations with India in all spheres. This specific gesture is among other incidents available with me which are specially concerned with India. The other cause for concern, not just for India but for the world, is that Afghanistan should not once again become a terror haven or a, a factory for terrorists across the world, terror outfits. Most importantly, from India's perspective, is Daesh Khorasan or the ISIS Khorasan province and of course uh, inputs regarding the rebirth of Al-Qaeda and its affiliates on Afghan soil. First, I'll talk on Al-Qaeda prior to September 11. Our relations with Al-Qaeda is not like that we were privy or taking part in their military plans outside the country. As said earlier, our relations with Al-Qaeda broke when America started its attack on Afghanistan and there is no new association with Al-Qaeda. They went to Arabic countries and brought revolutions there and established there. It is mentioned that after the signing of the Doha Agreement with America, it is our national and sincere responsibility to honor the pact which clearly states that Afghanistan's soil will not be used against America and its coalition. Hmm. Therefore, we are duty-bound to implement it in letter and spirit and lay emphasis on it. Now we have to put a check on it and America has also acknowledged it. However, there are some who are trying on one pretext or other, right. similar to the one when some days ago a research paper claimed that Al-Qaeda in Afghanistan yes. is lying dormant and inactive according yes. to their plan. I call upon the countries of the world, especially America, to not take a new alibi and make cordial relations with Afghanistan. The 20 years of our animosity should be transformed into a new thought and synergy. As far as Daesh is concerned, it is crushed in Afghanistan and have no physical presence here. Though it could be that they would have secretly moved to few places. It is also possible that similarly they are present in other countries. We are on the task to end Daesh threat not only in Afghanistan but also from other countries. Well, we'll have to take your word for it but because Daesh Khorasan and also Al-Qaeda's affiliates have been seen active in India, some modules have also been busted but our larger concerns are active outfits from Pakistan that, were, that are operating against with an intention to bleed India who are also training and using Afghanistan as a training base. 
especially Jaish e Mohammed and the Lashkar e Taiba Kader, who are found in Afghanistan. This is a direct threat to Indian interests. Do you agree with these concerns? How would you address them? I do not have any information and details on JEM, LET or any other groups or organizations. But I say that it is our request that any issues between India and Pakistan are resolved through talks and dialogues. I must say that the present government of Afghanistan does not want the Afghanistan soil to be used against any other country. Mm. I must clear that under any circumstances, we will not allow Pakistan to use Afghanistan soil against India, and we will not allow India to use Afghanistan soil against Pakistan. Mm. We want cordial relations with both countries and do not want to interfere or get involved between the issues of the two countries. We are an independent country and our foreign policy is guided by our national interests.